Peppa Pig, George's new balloon. Peppa and George are driving home with Granny and Grandpa Pig when they see Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Let's stop for ice cream," says Granny Pig. "Why not?" says Grandpa Pig. "I think we deserve it." Snort! Everyone is so excited for ice cream. Peppa, Granny, and Grandpa Pig choose their ice cream. George is next. Dinosaur," says George. "I think George wants a dinosaur balloon," says Miss Rabbit. All right. How much is it? Grandpa Pig asks. Ten dollars, please," says Miss Rabbit. It's quite expensive, is it? Grandpa Pig thinks the balloon is a bit expensive, but he buys it for George. Hold on tight to it," Miss Rabbit says. But George lets go, and the balloon starts to float away. Grandpa Pig quickly grabs the string. Um, sometimes when my balloon pops. Yeah,、okay. that's right. Your balloon, uh, your not not uh, your balloon sometimes pops. That's right. This is very valuable, George. I will hold it on the way home," says Grandpa Pig. Outside, Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, George plays with his balloon. George says, "Peppa." This is an up balloon, and if you let it go again, it will go up to the moon. Moon! cries George, and he lets the balloon go. The balloon goes up and up, but Grandpa Pig catches it just in time. Peppa and George have gone indoors to keep the balloon safe. Hello, Polly says Peppa. George has got a new balloon. Squack! cries Polly. Balloon! Both Polly and George love the balloon. Oh no! George cries, letting go of the balloon. The balloon floats all the way out the door, up the stairs, and into the attic. Don't worry. What, what's attic? Attic. Attic is、uh, the roof area. Don't worry, it's safe in here," says Peppa. "The only way out of the attic is the window," says Granny Pig, "and the window is always shut." <gasps> But what happened here? But the window is not shut. The balloon escapes outside. Why is Granny Pig a little confused? Because she couldn't understand why the window is open. Normally, the window is closed. Your balloon is going to the moon, George," says Peppa. "Well," cries George. Just then, Daddy Pig arrives to take them home. "Oh dear," says Daddy Pig. "There must be some way we can get the balloon back," cries Granny Pig. "Squack balloon," says Polly Parrot. <gasps> Polly Parrot is going after the balloon. Polly flies high up into the sky and catches the balloon string in her beak. Wow! Polly to the rescue! cries Grandpa Pig. Polly Parrot has saved the day. Hooray! George cheers. Who's a clever Polly? says Granny Pig. Who's a clever Polly? repeats Polly Parrot. George, don't let go of your balloon again, says Peppa. Daddy Pig has an idea. I will tie the balloon to a rest, George. He says that will stop it from floating away. George is very happy. He loves his balloon. Everyone is happy. His balloon was rescued. Snot. The end.